you're toxic, you're toxic. We don't know who is toxic, I, I guess. Everybody's toxic at this, this point. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be giving my unsolicited two cents about what's been going on with the Kardashians. I really haven't been watching them to be honest, but lately I've been seeing this whole drama with the phone call that Kim had with Courtney. And oh my gosh, it's it was sad to watch. It was sad to watch, but to be honest, it was very relatable for me as someone who has not only siblings, and I have a brother as well, but a sister relationship, sibling relationships off the bat are like kind of difficult to just navigate. And these are long, these are lifelong relationships that we're talking about. You know the good, the bad, the ugly, you know everything about each other. And what makes this relationship super difficult and super sensitive is because when we tend to get upset with each other, we tend to really like, we can draw for things that we know will hurt the person we know what buttons to push we know the things to say that can be very hurtful it's like we know each other's achilles heel sometimes you can have a tense relationship with a particular sibling throughout the years in this situation it was kim and courtney and i know even for me and my sister relationships um more into our adult 20s moving into our 30s it would be more me and nyla that i've had these kind of you know huge issues as sisters in our relationship this is a symptom of what happens when two sisters can have issues that are unresolved and they just build up over time and i feel like kim and courtney haven't really hashed out fully their issues the hurts can tend to accumulate on both sides and if you're not resolving the issue properly you know even with me and my sisters i i say to them because we've never had therapy and i say that i feel like we're just sweeping things under the rug and i think what happens is that the rug the rug is going to be like the rug is fed up, the rug is tired, the rug is like... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The rug is trying to get rid of all the issues, I think. So, um, siblings, it's important. I think if after a long time, you see that you're still having issues that are persistent, you're still having these arguments, you have this tension with a particular sister or with some sisters, it might very well be necessary to seek some therapy at this time, somebody who can help with the communication, somebody who can help to bring up everything and like really identify what is the cause of this pain, like what is your pain point, what is your hurt point. I think to call Kim a narcissist is not the worst thing in the world because I'm sure all of them have degrees of narcissism, including Courtney. I feel like Kim does know that she's a narcissist. She knows she's vain, but I think she knows she's made her empire off of that. I know in arguments, I've called my sisters narcissists and they have called me narcissists before. And you know, the whole thing is um, get over yourself, get over yourself. So it's one thing to say, okay, I'm a narcissist, I'm a little bit vain, I'm a little bit self-centered. How can I think about others how can i try to put others before myself how can i try to be there for my sisters more i do like that kim sat there and she allowed courtney to express herself courtney was allowed freely to get out everything and i think that that is the first step in communication is to really listen with the intent of understanding where the other person is coming from um, hoping that you can do something or adjust your behavior if necessary if you have that level of self-awareness which I do think Kim has, you know, it would be for her to take that criticism and say, okay, you know what, Courtney, in the future, I don't, I'm so sorry. In the future, I don't want to be hurting you anymore. My behavior has caused you this pain. I'm so sorry. But it's going to take that self-reflection to really go and look within yourself. And I find with my sisters, this is how we are. Like, I express our hurt, and then instead of you listening, you want to just tell me, oh, well, you too. You know, and it's like, we don't, get, we don't get anywhere, so nobody gets heard because you don't want to take the time to listen to what I just said. You just want to um, throw something back at me and um, then it just, it's not effective and it, it, it goes right underneath your rug because eventually we just end up getting tired. <laughs> I was like, I can't bother with this. this is, you know, I just need to get out of this toxic environment and you're toxic, you're toxic. We don't know who is toxic. I, I guess everybody's toxic at this, this point and it's just really bad. Where I think she went off was obviously bringing up the kids. You, everybody knows that she's a mom. The kids are uh, below the belt. We just don't go there because that is just a thing to me that warrants like you don't know how somebody might react. It's super hurtful. Somebody can get really upset and then it could, could, it could get to physical blows. Like you kind of don't want to go there. There was a bit of gaslighting when Kim was saying um, you need to dig deep and figure out why you hate me. It's like she wants to put... Courtney in the position of, of Courtney just being the villain. You need to figure out why you hate me so much because that's just 
making it sound like Courtney's just a hateful person for no reason. And it's like, nobody wants to just be a hateful person out the blue. There's no reason. Like, it's things that you've done to me. It's things that you've said to me. It's, it's ways that you've attacked me in the past that has built up, that makes me feel this way towards you. And it has been uh, difficult for me to shed. It's been difficult for me to just forgive and forget. If there are friends who are saying this about Courtney, in fact, and this is actually a fact, that people have, they have a group called Not Courtney. If that group was made out of, in a loving way to say, hey, we're concerned about Courtney, what's happening? But the fact that it's called Not Courtney is already a bit problematic because it's like, that, you know what I mean? That just sounds like sarcastic, sinister, like mean. I don't think it's a problem if friends come to a sister about a problem, but not in that way. I think Kim was using it in a way to kind of throw it in Courtney's face and I don't think sisters should like throw things in each other's face. You could definitely hear the hurt in Courtney's voice at the end when she said, you're a witch. It, it hurts her to call her sister these things, but it's like she wants her sister to just know, like, really, this is what I think of you. Like, I really just think you're a horrible person. And it's like, it's in a way she's pleading with her to, to be like, stop being such a horrible person. Because I just, I hate you right now. Like, you are a witch. It just can be a lot and it is hurtful and I do want to see them heal. I want to see me and my sisters really 100% heal and um, just, you know, as a family, you always love each other as a family. Like you never ever want anything bad to happen to that person. You love them at the end of the day, but them. Someone just call the therapist, please. <laughs> But I'm um, wishing Kim and her family, wish, um, all the sisters, all the siblings out there, guys, let's just try to do better. Let's try to love each other better. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys. Take care.